Hello everybody, it's Brandon again, and today we're taking a look at Fido S again. This is version 16. I think it just came out a few days ago. I got the about window open here. You see this is Fido S version 16.0. And today I've installed this on a 2015 MacBook Air, uh, the Core i7 edition, 8 gigs of RAM. And pretty much when you install it, you get this, this beautiful background of some kind of flower thing. And uh, this is a standard install. Now, what is Fido S? This is a web browser it comes with. Let me uh, bring it over here. Fido S is kind of a uh, fork of Chrome OS. You can see the website here. And kind of like we talk about Chrome OS Flex a lot on this channel. It's another uh, it's another one you can download for free and install it on your system. If you have a uh, old laptop or an old desktop where Windows or Mac OS isn't running so good anymore, this is an alternative you can go ahead and look at. Uh, there's a couple differences between Fido OS and Chrome OS Flex. The uh, the main difference, well, there's two main differences. The main one is Fido OS supports Android apps, whereas Chrome OS Flex does not. That's a big deal to a lot of people. And also, the downside is Fido OS. If you want automatic updates to the uh, next version, you have to pay money. Not a lot of money, a small amount. Whereas Chrome OS Flex, you get uh, all updates for free. On Fido OS, if you want updates for free, you gotta just reinstall your whole system. And another difference is Fido OS actually lets you do dual boot with other operating systems, whereas Chrome OS Flex will take over your whole hard drive. So there are definitely pros and cons to each. But let's go ahead and take a look at it, because uh, Fido OS gives you actually a really clean install. Um, there's like no bloat pretty much that comes with it, other than their uh, little Fido OS app store, which I don't know, yeah, store right there. Which, um, this is the first time I'm clicking on it on this install, because you really don't have to use it. The first time you boot up Fido OS, it'll go ahead and ask you if you want to enable Android. You're probably going to want to say yes, I said yes. And um, once you have Android enabled, you can either go to the store and say this configure open G apps, or you can find it right here from the uh, little start menu. And that'll go ahead and get the Play Store set up and ready for you. And so then you can have Google Play, which works perfectly. And to test it out, I installed Minecraft, which we'll just go ahead and uh, run real quick. And it loads pretty quick. It just comes right up. It um, Basically, I tried to install Minecraft Bedrock Edition on Chrome OS Flex through Linux. And uh, it works ultimately, but it doesn't just come up fast like this. This just runs good. The Android app support from the other times I've tested Fido X is pretty solid. So anyway, here we got Minecraft. Fido S also supports Linux, and to test that out, let me just close out of this. I went ahead and installed Steam. We'll go ahead and load that. The Linux support, again, is just like what you're going to see in Chrome OS Flex. It, uh, for a lot of things, it works. For some things, it's, it's not perfect. But um, the difference here is, like I said, you also have Android to fall back on if uh, what you want on Linux doesn't work. So we're just going to get go ahead and open Steam and do a really quick test. Now I did install Steam on this through Flatpak, so anything that's packaged uh, as a Flatpak, anything you can find on FlatHub, you're going to be able to install pretty easily on this thing. I have several videos on my channel on uh, working with Flatpaks on Chrome OS Flex, all that applies here as well. Let's see, Half-Life is one I installed, we'll go ahead and launch that, and it should just come right up. Here we go. This do a quick game real quick. Obviously, this is an old game. This is also an old laptop, though. So, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do? So this works. I'm not gonna waste time playing Half Life. All right. So here we have Fight OS, and every time I use Fight OS, it gets a little better. Um, this version is the nicest looking edition I've seen. It actually has a more pleasant theme and color scheme than Fido S traditionally has had. And also on this laptop, the previous versions of Fido S I've tried on it, 
the Wi-Fi didn't work, so it wasn't really usable on this MacBook Air. Now the Wi-Fi works. The only thing that does not work on this is a webcam. I am recording this using a different webcam than the one that's built into the laptop. Uh, but the SD card does work, and so the hardware support is getting better. Now, I should say on Chrome OS Flex, the webcam does not work on this MacBook either, so it's about even there. And anyway, what FidoS kind of demonstrates to me, not just the strength of FidoS, but kind of the weakness and stupidity of Chrome OS Flex. And I say that because, I mean, the Android support on here is solid on this thing. Every app I've tried has worked. I mean, I showed you Minecraft right here just to demonstrate a game. But on other installs, I've done a whole host of Android apps. No problems whatsoever. And to me, it makes no sense why uh, Google doesn't have Android support in regular Chrome OS Flex. I think they're doing it not for technical reasons, but for business reasons. They probably want to convince people to go buy an actual Chromebook to get Android support. And so they want to differentiate it. But... And I say this as somebody for who the Android apps are not really a big deal on something like this. For a lot of people, they are. Most of the comments I get on my channel when I'm talking about Chrome OS Flex is, is there any way to get Android working on this thing? And the answer is no. And on Fido OS, it just works. And so this demonstrates to me there's technically no reason why it doesn't work. And that's one thing that's going to be holding Chrome OS Flex back from ever getting good adoption, especially now that Windows 11 has Android support out of the box through the Amazon App Store. It makes no sense for it not to be on Chrome OS Flex. That's the uh, route Google wants to take on that. I think it's stupid. I think it's going to be holding Chrome OS Flex back. If Chrome OS Flex did have Android support, it would be a good contender, contender I think for Windows, for against Linux even, but that's the route they wanted to take. But it's here in Fido OS. The only downside, and I don't really think it's a downside, but every time I make videos on my channel about Fido OS, there's going to be complaints. There's probably some in the comments by the time you're watching this about this <laughs> operating system being developed in China. A lot of people are anti that for whatever reason. They think it's spyware. And I just say, if that's the camp you're in and you don't trust anything from China and you think it's spyware, don't use it. Use Chrome OS Flex without Android. But for everything else, I hate to say it, but you got to call it like it is. Fight OS is better than Chrome OS Flex. It just is. In the past installs, um, I've had issues where hardware was not working on Fight OS. Things would work on Flex that wouldn't work on Fight OS. And this particular laptop was one I had the most problems with. Now its hardware support seems to be right up there with Chrome OS Flex. So, is there any reason to use Chrome OS Flex over this? I don't think there is at this point. I am uh, i haven't said this in my other Fight OS videos, but I'm going to say it now. It's better than Chrome OS Flex. And until Google decides to add Android support to Flex, uh, that's just how it is. But you guys can let me know what you think. If there's anything you want me to test on Fight OS... Go ahead and uh, let me know in the comments, and I will do that. I'm open to testing anything out. Usually after I do my Fight OS reviews, I go ahead and wipe the laptop and put Chrome OS Flex back on. At this point, I'm just going to keep Fight OS on here because all the issues I've had with it seem to be fixed. But you guys let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I hope you have a good day.